Hey everyone, Kane here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about Dark Dimension once again. So, in this one, I have actually scored five seconds. Um, it didn't really take me much tries. Probably, if I wasted a few hours, I might even make it four seconds. But essentially, five seconds um, is okay on my realm. And I don't think that anybody else on my realm can actually do four seconds. But of course, there is a trick which could uh, help them do that. So we're gonna more or less show the formation I have done it with, tell you the tips, and potentially explain what you can do to actually score uh, higher or uh, faster. So the way I prepare for this event is I usually check what kind of heroes I have, what kind of formation I had before, and pretty much we can click last, and this is somewhat the formation that I had before. Minus uh, one hero, which I kind of add and make it work, but I'll leave it for you to figure out which one hero. Uh, mind you, that hero can pop an ability at the very beginning, regardless of any other heroes. So if you figure it out, you can just leave it in the comments down below, because Essentially, you know, if, if I just give out everything, it's, it's not fun for um, having people to just receive everything for free. I usually tend to let people have choices, have their own decisions. So let's leave it at that. If you happen to guess, you're going to know the formation that I've used. So I have all of these heroes here. I have Avalon buffing them. And I literally have like five heroes doing some sort of damage in here. And then I have Avril here, which means I'm running most of the DPS heroes. So we have to prepare most of those DPS heroes for scoring that amount of time. So what we do is we go to, uh, let's say, Avril. We switch all prism sets to four, which is my hero attack. We go, we swap back to the wave power. Then we go to, let's say, Valerie. We swap that uh, to uh, her main set. Then we go back as well. And then we do that for every, every single hero that we're going to use in that event, right? For every single one. And essentially on, I suppose, uh, Avalon, we could add a buffing um, array, which could be like Heroic Alliance or something else. So you wouldn't really miss out on a lot of damage or whatever. So you have this sort of swapping. So I'm not going to swap everything right now because uh, I'm pretty sure that most people will more or less catch on from the way that I will be using the heroes. So the other thing is we have to go into the hero mastery and of course the arcane tree. So... Majority of the fastest time in this event will really depend on the hero damage and specifically more on the Avril, especially in my own formation. So uh, we have to swap Avril into Arcane 4 and then we have to swap Valerie because we're not going to cast her into the Arcane 8. So she will do a little bit more damage. So we have done that, and then let's go on to the battle. So the thing about this formation is that before, I think I scored six seconds quickly and five seconds after trying like a bajillion amount of times, right? So what we're going to do here is we basically enter the fight, right? And we are able to cast an ability instantly. So what we are going to do is we're going to cast the blizzard first and we're going to try to aim all of the three tanks. And what we have to do is we have to kill these two a dwarf towers. So this tank moves forward. So we aim it somewhere like this, right? And then one tower fell, but we need to get the other one. Both towers fell and then we can actually cast Nova twice. So we cast Nova, the stuff didn't yet die. We cast Nova again, and this didn't die, so we have to redo. But as you can see, it's already 5 seconds, and with another hero, we would have actually done this in 5 seconds again. So what we're going to do is, we're going to retry again. Perhaps see the towers fall quicker. Both of the towers fell, 
So we might as well do something like this, right? Cast that again. They are pretty close. And we just literally one shot them and we have some mech still staying behind. So we might as well just do that almost five seconds again. That last hero would make up for it. So it's pretty easy, but of course this formation literally depends on majority of the mages the way this works out. So there are a couple of ways to actually make it faster. And both of those ways kind of require uh, specific heroes or stronger heroes. So in that way um, that I have done, I actually forgot to swap a prism towards Basric. And the prism that we would swap to Basric is uh, one moment. I think it's this one, Verling Blade. So with this one, he will literally just one shot the things in front of him and there would not be any mechs on Avril as you have seen before. So that way he could probably beam over to the other side and kill the mechs as well. And I could just do this with seven heroes or whatever. Still possible and stuff like that. But again, you have to remember that this wasn't very easily possible with this build with level 65 mages because Avril was like 12, 13 million attack with majority of the hero attack prisms. So, uh, you can swap around her items, perhaps grant a little bit more damage. Of course, do keep in mind my abilities were not based on Ice Nova. So, likely I could one-shot the tanks with level uh, 10 Nova. And then one-shot some archers on the side. But I still don't think that I'm able to get 4 seconds without trying a bajillion of times. And in the end, it's just not worth it, at least on my own realm. So there are a couple of ways. Uh, the first one is to have Jax high level. Let's see, where is Jax? So basically, the easiest way to get four seconds or like the least amount of tries is to actually have Jax high level, high attack. People have like 40 million attack Jax or whatever. And they do happen to score four seconds in almost like the first try or whatever. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on the formations, but I know like Jack is one of the main heroes to actually kill a huge portion of the field just by himself, or at least with um, his uh, either uh, spray and rather spray and pray, as well as the double charge thing. But of course, requires level seventy requires high level abilities, investment, and etc. And we can't really uh, swap it to that. And of course, I have a two-star Riga Shuriken, which is not very useful in my own formation at the moment. Uh, in terms of another hero, if you're focusing mages, you can use Raxius. Now, you also need some investment onto Raxius to make it happen. So I think majority of the time, to make this happen, um, I didn't actually test it since I didn't invest into him. You might require Arcane 8 or Arcane 10 on Araxius. I'm not entirely sure on which one since, again, I didn't really test it. Perhaps even Arcane 4. Uh, but that will be up to you to test if you have him. Uh, the main thing about him is that, again, he requires high level. He requires tier 10 wave power. He requires probably a different set of equipment, perhaps even a mage set. And he requires the mana lock codex, uh, this one. Magic damage 30%, mana ability damage uh, higher. So then his attack value would be pretty huge and then abilities that will do damage. So uh, first let's go on to potential since that is what kind of makes him stronger. So, uh, explode, uh, I think it's, uh, one moment, uh, the effect is boosted. Yeah, so basically, uh, this and, uh, this one. So, one moment, just to make sure. So, um, the refract will, um, explode on being summoned right so this one with arcane 8 will do percent damage and percent damage is rather quite high on very weak units with no resistances 
and those units in the event itself don't have resistances or i don't think that they have or that much so this one will activate the burn and it will do a pretty decent amount of damage and of course potential 50 uh this one uh, effect boosts the damage on melee troops meaning a uh, majority of the i suppose tanks because I, I don't think they're melee or they're melee slash ranged or even the uh, like dwarfs or whatever they will just start falling almost instantly again i haven't really done this with raxius but as far as i'm aware a lot of people got four seconds with raxius rather quite easy and i do believe the people who are getting three seconds are using Araxius and an additional hero which also adds um, more DPS in terms of the field itself. So I think it's a combination between those two, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm not going to disclose the other hero as well. But I do think that this one in particular with a proper build does exactly that. So in terms of Avril and Araxius, if you have potential 50, I do believe that this hero in general will do a lot more than, uh, I suppose, Avril. But that mainly because is you can cast Arcanate, or rather uh, cast the, um, I suppose, the Stygian Lantern, or, all, or rather all of the Lanterns, right? And um, it will activate this damage and then it will activate the burn effect which does percent damage and again on weak targets it does a decent amount of damage or a higher damage compared to how much attack value you have. So if you have three lanterns you cast three times and uh, your one moment your attack value will scale uh 150 percent or i'm not even sure if this is true scaling or whatever but you do get the point he will be dealing a huge amount of damage even through that hp percent and yes that hp percent damage scales on the amount of attack value you have or defenses or whatever and whatever so that kind of a thing is actually pretty powerful other than that, I don't think that there is um, anything else in, uh, I suppose, this event. It just comes down to specific heroes. And personally, I am just going for the um, gladiators after the mages. So my rogues will never be level 70, at least for like another half a year to a year, maybe longer. Anyways, do let me know in the comments down below whether or not this information helped you out and whether or not you happen to increase your time. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care and stay safe out there.